Good day to everyone out there in social media land. This is Social Selling Wednesday, where we take uh, anywhere from 30 to 45 to 60 minutes, whatever it takes to talk about uh, what you would like to discuss about social selling and some of the things that we've been seeing lately on LinkedIn. My name is Bob Woods. I am social business strategist at PeopleLinks, as well as executive vice president at Social Sales Link. And in addition, um, a new venture that we're going to be talking about a little bit more as we go on in the coming weeks here. Uh, thanks again for joining us. We have two people on the line today with us. Uh, Michael, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself first? Thank you, Bob. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michael DeGroote, stayingaliveuk.com. And very much like Bob, social selling, LinkedIn, and whiteboard animation. Great to be here. And great whiteboard animation stuff, too. Fan fantastic Thank stuff. You. It does very quality work. Okay, Bryn, go ahead. Uh, I'm Bryn Tillman. I am the Chief Learning Officer at People Links and CEO at Social Sales Links. So Bob and I like kind of work like that. We're always, yeah. <laughs> this is not the first time I've seen Bryn or talked to Bryn. <laughs> so, uh, oh, so thanks everyone for joining us. Um, if you'd like, you can be in the conversation as well. We have one open seat right now. If you want to hop in, please feel free. Um, we normally have Ted Pedromo on as well. He just sent me a message via Slack. Let me see what it says. Um, he may be joining in too momentarily, so so he may be taking that uh, seat as well. But you can also participate via chat. If you just want to type and send a message via chat, you can do that. You can also type in slash Q. I think that's still available, although... I'm not really seeing it as much anymore, but um, but you can also type in slash Q to ask a question directly at any time. Uh, once we see it, we'll we'll put a hold on what we're doing to answer your question as well. So the format of the show that we've been doing lately is um, we've been discussing, we have been discussing. Uh, yeah, it does work. Okay, so slash Q does work still. So uh, Bryn's confirmed that we've got that going here. So. Um, the format of the show is uh, we first talk about uh, any changes that we've seen on the LinkedIn platform in the past uh, week or two or three, depending, uh, because things are changing there all the time and they don't necessarily let us know about it um, ahead of time. So if we've seen something, we'll bring it up then. And then each one of us will have our one thing to talk about that, that, that we want to kind of highlight from our training and uh, coaching curricula. Well, it's multiple, so it's curricula. And uh, we will go ahead and um, and discuss those as well. So I'm going to throw it open to anyone here. Have have we noticed anything um, in in the past couple of weeks that uh, that people should know about? Yeah, Whatever. I've I've noticed something. Uh, have you seen premium insights on company pages? No. No. Oh. no. So go and have a look. In fact, the company page you should look at is People Links. And, Excellent. And go and have a look on that and you'll see premium insights. It's quite an interesting little, it's more about the uh, total employees, employee distribution by function, new hires, notable alumni, so job where, openings. Where are you seeing it? I wonder if you're being daily, if you are being um, beta or something. Beta tested. Because I oh, don't. Really? Yeah. Well, that would be interesting. Yeah, so there's, so if you just go to, well, I'm, I'm looking at the people link site and there's home and another tab called premium insights. I don't have that tab. Oh I my don't God. have that tab either. Oh my God. I can't hey, believe it. the that. first time the UK is ahead of the US with premium That's insights. ridiculous. Wow, that's yeah. something. So, 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 why don't you tell us what you see again? Okay, what I'm seeing is, and this is only available for premium account holders, I would imagine. That's probably why. The right first, there. uh, there's like a graphic showing total employee count, showing a graph from the number, and then May through to January, May 2014 through to January 2016. So it tells me in that period, in a little summary, that the employee count's gone down by 19%, and the average year's tenure is 1.8 years. That's oh. interesting. That's yeah. Then startup. it's giving me the 
it's giving me the employee distribution by function, business development, marketing, product management, and sales. And it has a little bar charts again from Q2 2014 to wow. Q1 2016, something like that. And it, it, all the figures are down in terms of people changes in sales, two people down, no, no. three people down in business development, one people down in change in marketing. And then there's a new, another graph that shows new hires. And in the period, same period, May 2014 to May 2016, showing mm -hmm. 25 new employee hires, mm -hmm. two senior management hires. Then there is a block with three profiles showing notable alumni. Some guy called, who used to be chief revenue officer at People Links called David D. Stefano. Mm -hmm. He's now the CEO of a big accounting. Egg Dude Incorporated. Then another guy who's now at McKinsey called Michael yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And then another person, Keith Fitzgerald, who's now oh. at Silverland Athletics. He used to be the CTO at People Links. So yeah, Don is here now. So what I would I would hugely love if you could do a screenshot of that and send that to yeah. myself. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Yeah, because it's especially interesting because because I have Sales Navigator. So on the LinkedIn dot, dot com side, it doesn't register. You know, you don't get all the premium features because it's over because you're supposed to do a bunch of stuff on Sales Navigator. But I'm looking at Sales Navigator right now for for people links, and um, none of that is showing up in Sales Navigator either. So it's interesting that that's actually available on the premium linkedin.com site Correct. but it's not available in sales navigator but clearly it's being beta tested yeah so. must be because they they do actually have a, a couple of sentences at the bottom saying tell us what you think about the insights send feedback mm -hmm. there you go so there's like in oh actually it's in under each graph and then the last one is total job openings uh, between September 2015 and May 2016, suggesting there were 12, one average monthly new openings. And then there's a whole thing around. That's very cool. I think, I it is very yeah, cool. Very nice. I like that. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. So I, I've seen two changes. Um, okay. One of them also beta tested is. Um, not everyone has it. I don't have it, but Peter Strid here has it, which is a live help chat button on top of in your LinkedIn.com on his top screen. There is a live and it, it put him in a queue that said there are two ahead of you. So he could chat live with help. So that's kind of exciting. However, I will tell you the help Twitter to me is almost like chatting live. So but that's kind of cool. Um, also beta tested, I don't have it. I don't know anyone else that has it. However, when we searched it, it launched six months ago in beta testing. So I don't know what's happening with that. The huh. other thing that is going to be sound so insignificant, but is so significant to me and my process is when you get an, ex, uh, an invitation accepted in your inbox, you're, it, there's a button that says view profile or click to send a message. And it used to be if you click to send a message, it would take you to the profile and pop up that message that you can send. Mm -hmm. As of today, when you click send message, it now goes to that news feed. So, Bob, that's one of the things we recommended to them. That's right. And they implemented it. So, uh, excellent. So thrilled. I don't remember whose idea of the nine of us, whose it was. Yeah, but it was one of the things when we talked with the team that we thought was really important because you needed to see if there was any other conversations. You pop into that pop up box, you couldn't see any history. So, right. this is when you when you accept an invitation. So, this is when you get in your inbox. Julie Carpenter is now your new is now a connection has accepted right. a connection. So part of my strategy, right? So in my Gmail, I have a folder that's just for accepted LinkedIn. I created a rule just for my mm -hmm. accepted LinkedIn invitations. And every other day or so, I go through and send a welcome message, like yeah. a custom welcome message to each person that's in there. Yeah. But what's happening is when you click on send a message, it would just go to a, the old fashioned pop-up 
where it asks for the subject and mm -hmm. put it in. But ultimately, if I had communicated with that person before we connected, maybe we had an introduction that was made and we had had some communication before the accepted connection, that became, um, it became difficult and to customize it. So what was happening is I would send a message out to someone that newly connected with me that's asking for a conversation, and but I already asked that prior, like I kind of repeated myself. And so if I had been in that newsfeed where I saw I was asked, you know, I was given an introduction and I had three conversations with that person, I at least would have known where I was in that process. So they fixed it. So now when you click send a message, it goes to the news stream. It does not just go to that pop up. OK, it doesn't go to the message pop up. It doesn't do the message pop up. It goes to the new inbox news stream, like the new inbox. OK, yeah, the new messaging box. The new messaging. So if you had five messages before they accepted your connection, it's all there. OK, so. I know. In Interestingly, channel. that's not happening on mine yet. But I, yeah, I know what you mean. Really? So that I, this morning, it, it was the first time I saw it actually. So, so when you get James has accepted your invitation or something, that's what you're talking about. Right. And then like, so when you when you get that invitation accepted, um, I, I wish I could share this. Like it'll say um view profile or send a message right so it'll say um view profile or send a message and now when i click send a message it's no longer doing the pop-up it's going to the new inbox okay or well, strangely i've always had it like that <laughs> so that's bizarrely that's ah. always, yeah it was it's only when you view the person's profile and then click send a message on the profile that a pop-up comes up Oh, so that just changed for me today. That was a big thing. So that oh, is. Oh, wow. I don't know why that is. That's so strange that it's different for you than it would be. Yeah, it's always been that way. It always goes through the messaging stream um, ever since they changed it. Ah, isn't yeah. it? It's so funny how that works. So because where's Bob gone? Um. He popped off. So hopefully, he'll be back on. Yeah. Okay. Next thing is when you hit send message. I'm hoping that goes to the news. Sorry, Ted. Box two. Bob and I are having strange problems. I just knocked him off when I joined on my phone because I can't get on my computer. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> we popped in a separate window. <laughs> That is so strange. And now he can't get back on, but I can only get on on my phone, not on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and we're the people that people come to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make it worse. <laughs> it's the, it's the oh black God. technology. Oh, that's Beth. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on Bob. here? I kicked Bob to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Beth. Welcome. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. Huh? So I had I had similar technological challenges yesterday or the day before. I tried to do an unlisted blab with someone to show them what it was all about, and nothing was working. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Okay, so then the I should go to changes then. I wonder how well blab is doing. Like, I, I'm wondering if... Like it had such a great launch. Mm. I'm wondering if it's growing on a consistent basis. If it, I don't know. I don't hear that much about it outside of the people that. It's, right. It's the old fashioned kind of, you know, big excitement, something new. And then people kind of go, okay, I've done it now. We'll do go and do something else. What's the next big thing? Like and I know. Facebook is Everybody's jumping on Facebook live now. I haven't done it yet. Have you guys done Facebook Live? I haven't yet. No. I don't know. I avoid Facebook for business for some reason. It's going to change. I know. It's I know. It's going to change. Well, well I, I saw a weird thing 
on the unlisted blab that I don't see here. Maybe you guys see it as, as the host. Um, the ability to um, connect by a snap. No, no. Can't, can't see any yet. Okay, so so this whole unlisted lab thing is weird. That the options were different. It was confusing. And up in the top right corner, there were. It says something like snap connect by snap, and it had some emoticon like or icons, and you could click on it and share it as a snap, so people could join. It was very confusing. Wow, that's that's cool. I yeah. I am still a, a snap infant. I joined because of Michael. And then yeah. I just... yeah, we need to be doing something on that for sure. <laughs> you know, just yeah, I don't I, I I don't know. I was thinking of taking Carlos's Gil Carlos Gill's nine dollar Snapchat course. I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna get my fifteen year old <laughs> And myself are going to do a video on Snapchat together. I love it. <laughs> want to do a, a Snapchat for business guest webinar at People Links? Pardon? You want to do a Snapchat for business guest webinar at People Links? I'd love to, but I need to get my head around it a bit firmer. You tell me when. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Yeah. Ten yeah, years is today, right? Yep, in a couple Yay. hours. And what's I'm your topic? Twitter for business. I'm so excited. Yay. Twitter. Love Twitter. That's yeah. where we met, okay. Brent. Let's, let's get back no, on track. We, we, we've lost Bob. So I'll jump I have to hop off, off anyway. Oh, so, okay. Um, love you guys. Thank um, you. Bye. Thanks for joining us for a few minutes. Bye, Bryn. Right, Ted, what have you noticed uh, on LinkedIn in the past week? We've we've talked about two things so far. We've talked about um, premium insights on company pages. Have you guys seen that yet? No, no. premium that. insights. What what is it? What's it all about? Okay, premium insights. Uh, Bob and Bryn haven't seen it either, so I might be in a beta whatever test. It's it's about employee. Uh, stats for the company. It shows me the employee count, the employee distribution by function, mm. the new hires, notable alumni, total job openings, the history, the, the number of employees by function, by seniority. Mm. And Is that with a careers page or without a careers no, page? It's, it, there's no careers page. I'm, oh. I'm just looking... It says pre, a, a little pop-up comes up saying new premium feature, get growth trends and more on this company. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to go look. Haven't yeah, seen it. Go and have a look at, I know for sure, because I'm looking at the page now, go and have a look at people links page. And okay. If you haven't if you haven't got a tab, there should be a home tab and then a premium insights tab. If you haven't got the premium insights tab, then you haven't got it yet. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. I don't have not yet. It's a miracle US, that yeah. in the UK we've got something before the USA. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the other thing um, that Bryn shared was when you get an accepted uh, email for somebody that's connected to you and you click through on met being able to message them it goes straight through to the messaging um, the messaging feed you know with all your messages there so uh, that wasn't new to me because I've always had that so that's something that was new that she noticed today on the computer or on the phone or both computer computer I believe Anything you guys noticed, Ted or Beth? Uh, I've been actually playing with uh, Ad Stage, which is an add-on to do LinkedIn ads. Ooh. Mm. So it's a premium product. But I'm doing a, a test. Okay. You know, it's interesting. It lets you do all these cool things with LinkedIn ads that LinkedIn doesn't let you do. I saw that uh, promoted post about that, I think, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do better targeting through this ad stage somehow. <laughs> How can that be? It's a, yeah, you subscribe to it. Oh, okay. 
and then they let you tracking it lets all has campaign tracking codes so you can tell which ads are working and which aren't wow wow but i don't know how they can do the targeting better than link than linkedin directly that doesn't make sense it's all yeah. no it yeah, doesn't they, yeah sounds but it works yeah they're yeah they found something in the api obviously that um uh you know who knows how long that kind of thing will last it depends on you know if linkedin discovers it and either cuts them off or or buys the company it's i tried it about a year ago and it worked back then too so linkedin must be aware of it they work closely with linkedin huh Link linkedin should just buy it yeah integrated into yeah yeah i was gonna say linkedin's gonna buy them that that <laughs> that that would be my guess at least yep absolutely yeah Okay, so anything else we've noticed? It's been about it. Okay, cool. So Bob, what's the next thing? So the next thing is our is our one thing segment, which um, uh, which we yeah, call the segment like like this is an official show or something yeah, like that. Yeah, totally but... segment. That's brilliant. <laughs> but cool. um, it's my old TV and radio background coming back to haunt me. But um. But, uh, you know, this is where we bring forth something from from our coaching or training that we just want to highlight so that uh, so that people can learn and uh, and, and use it um, with their social selling and LinkedIn activities. So um, who would like to go first with uh, with their one thing? Beth. Well, I'm not sure. I haven't <laughs> ever been on one of your blabs. I'm not sure what it is. I'm my one what thing. Well, yeah. I mean, it, you know, be- yeah, I'm. Um, uh, Michael, why don't you go ahead so that uh, so that Beth can get an idea? Oh, of- I yeah. think that's fair, Beth. You're absolutely right. Okay, so my one thing, I because I noticed that Beth had updated on her profile her experience section about social sales GPS. Yeah. I decided to add a new role on my experience section, mm-hmm. and I switched on the notify my network tab, which. Generally, it's been switched off, but I did for this one because I wanted to notify my network what had happened. So everybody now in my network believes I've got a new job. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So Uh, they now think I've moved company because nobody bothers to go to your profile and actually read what's happened, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody... Without exception, there might have been three people who did a specific personalized email, but everybody sends the congrats on the new role. Hope you're doing well message. So Mm -hmm. I've had hundreds of likes to the role being announced as well, but everybody is sending the standard message. So if anybody's listening out Mm -hmm. there, please, please, please. This is exactly the same when you are inviting somebody to connect to you. When you have to personalize the message, please send a personalized message, not the, you call it boilerplate or template message. Yeah, yeah. That, that is yeah. the same because you're not going to stand out of the crowd because hundreds of people are sending the exact same message. How can you, I mean, the whole reason you're sending the message to, to start with is to get noticed, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, you're doing something nice too, but you also perhaps want to get noticed by that individual. Don't send the standard message because you'll just be one of hundreds sending the exact same message. Boring. That's what I'm calling it. Boring. We must be more innovative and creative and spend literally 30 seconds to construct a personalized message and go and look at the person's profile before sending that message. Because when I've, when I've seen notifications where people have had job changes, I go and have a look and actually they may have added something to their profile. They just might maybe in edit mode and they forgot to add a job. Right. It doesn't mean it's their new job. So you could be saying, congrats, right. hope you're doing well. Um, you know, congrats on the new role. But actually, it's not a new role at all. It's an old role. They've already been doing it for 12 months. So sorry yeah. to sound a bit exasperated, but I am about this because I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, no, not more of the same. Yeah. And they're still coming in. 
like same, six, six days later, they are still yeah. arriving, the exact same messages. Yeah, same here, because I did what Michael did, basically. And um, I actually did get a couple of, of, of customized um, uh, responses, you know, wondering what was going on. One guy said, you know, how are you doing all this stuff at the same time, which is good, actually, because, you know, it shows that they cared enough to go and look to see what was going on before they sent the uh, message. And while it's, you know, while while I guess it's nice that people want to acknowledge it somehow, you know, once again, this is where LinkedIn is 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 kind of falling off a little bit in its own education, which is why there's people like us around, by the way. But um, um you know, there should be a little more thought involved. And I think, you know, once again, this isn't people who are, you know, doing this on, on purpose. They just don't know any better more than anything else. Yet at the same time, uh, because because I've gotten like I, I honestly think it's up to about 100 messages now, you know, seeing seeing much of the same thing. It does get annoying after a while, but I do have a response that I've been sending to everyone. That's just, um, that's, that's, that's kind of can too, but I, but I did want to acknowledge it because there have been a couple of conversations started because I replied to them too. So I would say, even though, you know, yes, it's annoying. And yes, as, as a coach, I kind of grind my teeth when, when I see this stuff too, um, you know, at, at least take advantage of, of that uh, potential co conversation starting um, moment there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I, I agree. And I've also sent a standard message to people mm -hmm. really to explain, because I thought, well, this is an opportunity to actually respond right say, thanks for your message actually it's not a new job it's a new project mm -hmm. i then explain a little bit about the project and i've asked them do you know some people who might be interested in becoming a tester um so you know to specific people and i've had a couple come back and said yes please we'd love to be testing uh your new your new project so it has I'm not suggesting that it hasn't been useful or beneficial because you can always turn these things around to your benefit. But the message out there for any people doing this on LinkedIn, sending the congrats messages, let's let's take just 30 seconds and personalize it because you will actually start, stand out massively from the crowd. What Michael said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. I mean, precisely. Well, that's that's it. Basically. And while we, while we, you were speaking, I just did a test. So I had my notifications turned off. I went and I just changed a couple words in the social sales um, GPS mm -hmm. role, yeah. and I turned yeah. it on. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'll let you oh, know. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. Funny. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, I've noticed where people it'll say. You know, on the upper right of the homepage, it'll say, um, congratulate something on some, on whatever job. And I'll know that it's an old job. So maybe they just updated something. Right. Yeah, and right. it, it's not smart enough to, to know that it's not their current yep. job. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, excellent. So um, actually, be, before we get to Ted, I just want to remind everyone it's, it, it's, it's 1130 or 30 minutes after your hour, depending on where you're at. We are looking at chat. <laughs> So uh, if, if you have a question, please feel free to, to pop a question in there and uh, and we will definitely answer it. So with that in mind, Ted, why don't you go ahead with your one thing? Okay, it's similar to that. Just we've been testing different messages for birthdays and anniversaries. Yes, and we have. We've been talking about that. Yep. Yeah, I've been testing it with my assistant and the response is incredible. Mm -hmm. People like they're so excited to get a real message for somebody, not just the canned message. Yep. And yeah. It takes time. You know, a lot of clients I work with, they don't want to waste time. I want quick sales. I want to sell today. Right. So it's like, no, you no. Know, take your time, build a relationship. Yep. Exactly. exactly. Actually, that's a great, can I just say that's a great tie in to, I'm going to be the guest on LinkedIn chat on Twitter on Tuesday, the 10th. Yeah. And the topic is combining in-person networking with activity on yeah, LinkedIn. Yeah, that is so huge. So that, 
that goes with that. That is so huge. And that's and and that's something that I like to talk about too, because until very recently I was I was very active in, in local networking too. And I had a um a, a script staging strategy and everything for that. So I mean that's that's where I think that LinkedIn is is especially huge because we normally say take um uh online conversations offline. Here you've already had the online kind of conversation. Right. And, and and so you can strengthen that relationship all the more via both online and offline. And and for people who sell to a local market, I think that LinkedIn and social selling is, is actually yep. especially strong. Yeah. But that, that definitely, what you were talking about, Ted, it reminds me of mm -hmm. that completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just tell people, treat people online like you treat them offline when you meet them in person. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and they don't. Yeah. Even, that does such a new concept to them. It's like, wow, why would we do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ex except for those, except for um, you know, car salesmen types who immediately start a conversation with the sales pitch, and unfortunately, you just can't can't get away from that. But hopefully, most people will uh, will uh, definitely listen to that and you know treat people online the same the same way that they do offline. Yeah. So Beth, you've seen a couple of one things. Do you have yeah. anything yet? Sure. Right. Actually, and it kind of, right. it goes right, flows right into, you know, people are people. Well, not, they're not always people when they're fake accounts. So I've <laughs> yeah. seen a huge number of fake accounts, much more than I've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been working with people to try to recognize them. Now, coming from graphic design roots, I can see a stock photo you know, right off the bat, yeah. but now they're using photos that definitely don't, you know, they just look at, like a normal person. Right. So um, even though it does take more time, I've been advising people to, if they don't know the person, even if they have someone that's a common connection, because people can get caught by it, they or they just accept every connection that they get. Mm -hmm. um, I've been advising people to do a, a reverse image search or do reply without accepting to say, you know, I don't know you, maybe we should talk. And if the person doesn't write back, then they're out. They're out. I mean, even, I mean, even if it is a real person and, and, and not a fake account, if, if, if they don't uh, respond to you with, with, with anything, then they're not worth connecting with it in the first place. Exactly. That's right. I, 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 it amazes me how many people are still doing this. Um, and I, I guess it hasn't helped by other social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, because, mm -hmm. you know, on Twitter, you just follow somebody. There's nothing, you don't have to introduce yourself. Right. On Facebook, you just add a friend. And mm -hmm. if people are, you know, it's very likely a lot of people are on Facebook and they just think, oh, well, we'll just click the connect button. Uh, but as Good Shaver said last week, mm -hmm. if you now click the connect button on the on the when people have you know you look at who's viewed your profile, it doesn't immediately fire off the standard invite. You actually get the, the space then to write a customized invite. But ah. yeah, yeah. You, yeah, that's changed last week in the last week or so, which is really great. Yeah, but I I'm gonna have to try it. Yeah, yeah definitely, it. and. Yeah, don't don't be afraid. It won't send the standard one. Well, it hasn't for me, so I've tested it as well. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it right okay, now. Go yeah. ahead. Let us know what happens there. And and while you're trying that, I'm I might as well get to my one thing here yeah, real dude. quick. And it's and it and it has to do with something that I've taught before, but um uh, another fellow um, uh, LinkedIn uh, coach, Bruce Johnston, actually put a really, really good spin on it. And I like what he said. So I'm going to uh, borrow with full credit what he said and then kind of dovetail in, in how I use it. So he just did a, uh, a Pulse post. Um, and, and here's the title of it. LinkedIn comes up with a system to identify marginal connections, which I absolutely love. So basically... Um, this has to do with the people who post those typical Facebook type of um, type of status updates to um, to LinkedIn, and um, we all get annoyed by it. And um, or I mean, many of us do, but 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 not everyone. At least those of us who try to keep things uh, professional. So um, 
so here's how to combat that basically. So when you see something like that pop up in your stream, what you could do is it is in that particular update, you can go to the little um, part at the upper right hand of the actual update where it says like one hour, 39 minutes, a couple hours or, or whatever. You can hover over that and a couple of um, options pop up. One is hide this particular update. One is copy link to share, which I love, and you can use that for other things, but I won't get, get in that right now. And then the other two are unfollow and then report this update. I, I, I don't know if I would report the update basically, but it's, but it's kind of like a, um, a, a baseball analogy to me. So strike one would be to hide a particular update from a person just so you don't keep on seeing, um, keep seeing the progress of it in your, um, in your notifications feed. If the person keeps doing it, you can then unfollow them so that you're still connected to them, but you're not seeing um, their their updates anymore within your stream. And 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 at that point, you know the the strike B or the strike the strike B the strike three would be to um, just unfollow the, or 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 just disconnect from them entirely if they're really bugging you or 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 just based on the types of shares that that they're sharing you don't want to um have anything to do with them anymore basically so um i just i i like the way that he put it let me get back to that oh i think i lost that window but um you know, he he also called it Darwinism at work, basically. <laughs> so I so I definitely think that that's another really, really good way to to put it. So, um, you know, you don't have to see you really don't have to see those Facebook type posts anymore if you don't want to see them. And um, and I commend uh, Bruce Johnston, who is at Bruce Johnston, I believe, on Twitter, if you want to follow him. But um, but but he came up with a really good spin on it to do something that um, parts of it have been available. But I think the um, the um, the unfollow this this particular post thing, I think that's only, I think that's new only like in the past month or so. So that's actually so that's kind of new. And I think that we've discussed that here before. I remember discussing it somewhere. I, I just don't remember where. So, um, you know, you can actually start to uh, declutter your feed a, a little bit or a lot, just depending on the degree to which you want to take that type of thing. If, if you're just going to um, if you're just going to how do they put it again? If you're just going to hide a particular update or if you're going to just unfollow someone entirely, if, if they do that type of thing too much. It right. seems like the internet marketing crowd is like attacking LinkedIn again after all those changes last year. Yeah. They've regrouped and now they're trying new tactics like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I do. Posts like that. Yeah, definitely. So, so, so I do commend LinkedIn. I mean, you know, it's that, you know, it's, it, it's that old pendulum thing again, you know, it swings the, the other way and then LinkedIn comes in overcorrects, but I get why. So it, so, so it swings the other way and then hopefully it will come back to, um, equilibrium at some point but once again it's kind of a case of this is why we can't have nice things on linkedin so that's just what i got <laughs> so so that's what i kind of chalk that up to more than more than anything else a human nature yeah basically basically do you all yeah, i guess we're not seeing that much of it over this side of the water uh there are some like but it's interesting, actually, how many people do engage with the Facebook type post. There's one particular one I saw where somebody was advertising swimwear. And, yes. Um, yes. You've, yes. You've all seen that one. Okay. Yep. So, but the thing is, if you've seen the amount of comments and likes it's had, it's just like, you know, so... It's also gotten media coverage too. I mean, that post and that campaign has actually gotten media coverage too, and and I think that's where part of this whole thing is 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 coming from too. I mean, I mm. think that people are are actually finally starting to discuss what is proper and what isn't. But now, at least LinkedIn gives you the opportunity for yourself to to uh, determine what is popular and what isn't for you, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to say, you know when I when I do stuff I, I tell people 
um, you know, like inspirational quotes belong on Instagram and Facebook, unless that's your job. If you're an, in, uh, some kind of life coach or inspirational speaker, then it might apply. Right. So, so not to specifically discuss the bathing suit one, if that's somebody's job, because it's all about business, if that's their business, but look at all the press they got. So sometimes, you know, bad press or press that gets people talking, they, they got what they were hoping to get. Yep. Yeah. Any I mean, press is good press. Yeah. It, right. And, and the thing is, it's, it's interesting because the individual who posted the original will have had a, would have had hundreds of connection requests. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you remember the, the Jeff Wiener post that I put up around the mobile app thing last year, I mean, I had hundreds, if not hundreds of requests to connect. Um, it was overwhelming, you know, and it's only because he commented on it. It goes into his, you know, newsfeed and right. he's being followed by, you know, millions of people type yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, everybody wishes their post to be that active, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, in fairness to them, they had a result. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. You can't deny that. But uh, yeah, so I mean, and 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 that's something that we're, uh, you know, that nobody is is going to be able to answer definitively for 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 the entire LinkedIn population of was it up to now more more than four hundred million or, or something like that. Four thirty three. Four thirty three is the last number. Yeah. So. Um, but subtract some that number of thousand for the fake account yeah it's yeah it's probably more than a couple thousand too i i would i would guess so um but 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 we all know who our good people are and and hopefully we know some of the uh some of the fakes as well out there yeah. so yeah i i know we're we're close to time but i just want to mention a quick one in terms mm -hmm. of what have we seen unless you want me to save it till next week but i've just noticed in the, your my network and then connections page where you have your address book and mm -hmm. you have the little tiles at the top to say congratulations and happy birthdays yep. there are now tiles coming up making suggestions to connect with people you don't know yet right right seeing that are you seeing that yes i am okay yeah. and if you click on that connect one it allows you to personalize it. Yes, it does like that. So I hadn't seen that until just now. <laughs> does it let you personalize the second one you click on? I didn't try that. In the past, it would just send the automated invitation to the next people. Really? Uh, oh. I don't know if that's still true. I haven't tried it in about a week, but. That's interesting. And it could be one way today and a different way tomorrow. So Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, and that's why we always like to highlight changes on here just because, you know, it's for, for lack of a better term, it's basically, <laughs> if yes. you know what I mean. Every so, site seems to be changing every minute. <laughs> every minute of, of, of every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I'm going to try it now. Okay, so Michael's going to try it now. I just want to remind everyone that we are looking at chat all the time. If you have a question, uh, go ahead and pop your uh, your question in there, and we'll answer it. Um, and in the meantime, yeah, because I didn't uh, – yeah, so, so when you click Connect, that does come up. Man, I wish we could screen share on this. Yeah. That would be cool if you're listening. Ooh, Blair, maybe right? we could figure out a hack to figure, make that happen. Um. Yeah, I wonder how how that could work. That would be interesting. You have to take over your camera and have your camera be looking at something on your screen instead of you. Uh, there there are apps available to do that. Definitely. Like Maybe that. you think Telestream could do it. Oh, well, then there's or, that. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I, I was just gonna say that's always a possibility too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want today? By by the way, Ted, that's a, that's not your normal uh, angle and, and, and things I'm like that. I'm holding seasick. I'm on my iPhone. I've been holding it because my computer will not connect uh, to this lab. 
I'm, oh god, that's just like bizarre. you're on a you're on a yacht or something because you like. Swimming <laughs> or, <laughs> I'm, like <laughs> I'm feeling sick. <laughs> And it's and it's great that you've got your custom screen on your yacht too. That's dedication. Yes. <laughs> That's bring it everywhere you go. Really? Yeah, I would too. I mean, even I mean, even if you're walking around, you can kind of hook it to the back of your neck or something like that, and always yes. have it. Wait, that's a business idea. <laughs> That's a total, we have to do it. I'm filing a patent attaches, right now. It attaches around your neck and it goes down behind. It's just a square. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be like a selfie stick. It's just come and go really quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you'll make a million dollars on yeah. it or whatever. That's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> While it does. Yeah, it's those it's those one hit products that are that are always the best. You just make a ton of money and, and, and you go away or you try to come up with something else. Yeah. Like the easy button. That easy, easy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and in Spanish, especial or especial. especial. <laughs> Something that's like that. funny. I like that. I like that. Well, good. Well, it's it, it's coming up on on ten of unless um unless we have anything else. I think we're going to uh, wrap it up so so people can get to lunch a little early, like me, for example. So. Um, Again, we are here every Wednesday at uh, 11 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, and however that translates for you, that's fine. Um, we also promote it uh, via via LinkedIn and especially on Twitter, but uh, that URL will always go to the most uh, recent blab or, or the latest blab that is that is coming up. So socialsellingwednesday.com is how you get to us. So uh, with that in mind, thanks for coming everyone it's been fun i'm glad i could get back in after that screwy <laughs> screwy situation i still don't know what happened there and um and it's very good thanks everyone thanks everyone and good seeing you, thank you. bye bye, bye.